Hi right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. Full squad workouts have officially begun at spring training, which means you're getting closer and closer to Major League Baseball's 2021 opening day. We are just a few weeks out from April 1st, and as we are gearing up for the new season, I thought now would be a good time to go ahead and reflect on 2020, the 60 game regular season we had, and there's no better way to do that, in my opinion, than a Sporkle Quiz. So for the first time here on the channel, we're going to attempt a Sporkle Quiz and it's going to be can you name the batters who hold each stat on their team from the 2020 major league baseball season 20 minutes on the clock 233 answers i'm excited for this one guys if you're ready for it don't forget to drop it down below comment and subscribe if you haven't already if you guys want to go ahead and take this quiz also see how you do in compared to my score you can use the link down below in the description but without further ado i'm excited let's get into it our first sparkle quiz based off the best hitters in 2020 all right, so we have 20 minutes, 233 answers. I'm going to aim for like 215 at the minimum. And I think anything other than that, like anything higher, I will be very happy with. So 215 out of 233 is what we're going for. Starting with the Diamondbacks, Marte, Escobar. Um, we got Peralta, Walker, perfect. Let's go. Who else here? Who else? Cole Calhoun crushed it in 2020, and he's going to finish out the Diamondbacks for us. Nine for nine, good start. Atlanta Braves. We got, of course, Freddie Freeman, Marcelo Zuna, Albies maybe, no. Uh, Acuna is going to be on here, yep. Stolen bases, eight. Strikeouts. Uh, is it Riley? No. Uh, Swanson strikes out a lot. There we go. Perfect. Orioles now. DJ Stewart. Behind the plate, they have Severino. He's not on there. Um, Santander, Alberto, who else do they have? Rio Ruiz, Cedric Mullins might be stolen bases. He is. Is Mount Castle on here? No, no Mount Castle. Alberto, Ruiz, Santander, Mullins, Stewart, uh, Cisco maybe? Who else does this team have that I'm forgetting about? Oh, Renato Nunez. There we go. 24 for 24, not a bad start. J.D. Martinez with the Red Sox. Let's go. Bogarts, Devers, Bradley. All right, hits and runs. Verdugo. There we go. All right, the Mookie Betts uh, replacement there gets us the last two that we need for the Red Sox. Chicago Cubs. I think you know if we just kind of have big name guys out here on this list, we should be able to get a lot of them. Anthony Rizzo, three stolen bases. Hap. Schwarber, uh, Hayward, perfect. Contreras, uh, we did Schwarber already. Bryant, is he on here? No. Hap, Contreras, we got Baez. That's going to get us a little bit more. Nico Horner and his rookie season, three stolen bases. We're going to come back to the guys that we don't have yet for the Cubs. White Sox now, though. Uh, Tim Anderson. Abreu, we also get Brian Anderson there. So Abreu, Anderson, Jimenez, uh, Robert, if I could spell. That's Monty Grandal. Perfect. There we go. We're just rattling off again the big names, and we're doing well off the bat. Eugenio Suarez. We got Nick Castellanos, Joey Votto, uh, Stolen Bases, Senzel, uh, Winker, maybe Akiyama, Shogo Akiyama. Perfect. All right. Off to a good start. 60 out of 233. Just under three minutes in. Cleveland Indians. Jose Ramirez. He's going to be the bulk of this category. Lindor. Uh, Fernando Reyes strikes out quite often, I think. Yep, we also get Victor Reyes for the Tigers, which I probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So thank you for that. Berto Perez, maybe. Nope. Uh, Cesar Hernandez is going to be hits. Walks. Is it Naquin? Is it, who else do they have? Santana? Perfect. Carlos Santana. Rockies now. Arenado is not on here. Let's go Story. He is a nice number of them right there. Got us a lot of points. Charlie Blackman. Strikeouts. Uh, Tony Walters. Ramel Tapia. Um, let's see. We are going to come back to the Rockies. Pilar? Pilar just jumped around so much. I think he was with the Rockies last year. I might just not be remembering correctly, though. So we're going to skip over the last one for the Rockies. The Tigers. Condelario. Cabrera. Good. I'm just trying to name some of the big young kids. And, of course, Miggy. You can't forget about him. So 
filled out the Detroit Tigers pretty quickly. Now we go to the Astros. Bregman. Altuve. Not on here, okay? Correa. Springer. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Springer. Brantley. Not on here. I think Tucker did well. Maldonado. And that's going to finish it out. Royals. Mondesi with stolen bases and strikeouts. 24 and 70, respectively, with Merrifield. Jorge Soler. RBIs. We got Michael Franco. Walks at 27. Is it Gordon? Hunter Dozier, maybe? Hunter Dozier. All right. Hey, you know what? We are almost at 100 out of 233. I'm liking it. Angels. Trout, obviously. Pujols. No. Rendon. Hits. Fletcher. I was racking up a lot of hits last year. Stolen bases. It's not going to be upped in. Um, who else do they have? Otani? Does Otani steal bases? He does. Otani. Seven stolen bases. I like it. Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, I was typing in Bellinger, but we get Bell. So let's try again here. Cody Bellinger. Mookie Betts. Max Muncy. Corey Seager. And one more is AJ Pollock, who I met at a Diamondbacks game a few years back. Miami Marlins, we got Miggy Rojas. Nope. All right, John Birdie on the other side of the infield. Cooper, uh, Jesus Aguilar is going to be a lot there. Stolen bases, nine. Dickerson, Alex Dickerson for the Giants, but we don't get Corey Dickerson for Miami. Chisholm? I don't know how to spell his name. Jazz Chisholm, maybe? No. Stolen bases, nine stolen bases. It's not going to be Marte again. Um, who else do they have? We might have to come back here as well. So stolen bases might eat me up a little bit, especially if certain teams have more than one guy at the stolen base category. Milwaukee Brewers. It's going to be Yelich. It's going to be maybe Keston Hira. And two guys finish it out for the team. That's what we like to see. That's easy. Moving on. We got Nelson Cruz for the Twins. Ro uh, not Robinson Sano. Robinson Cano. It's going to be Miguel Sano for strikeouts. Uh, Kepler. Buxton. No. Rosario. Is he on here? He is. Uh, four stolen bases. Simmons, maybe? No. Um, all right. Arias. No. It's not Donaldson, I don't think. So we're going to come back to the Twins for stolen bases. New York Mets. We got Alonzo, we got Smith, McNeil, uh, J.D. Davis, Michael Conforto maybe, okay, good, Nimmo, stolen bases, eight, Rosario, what about Jimenez, both with the Cleveland Indians now, there we go, Mets are done, Yankees, we're going to go here in order, LeMahieu, home runs is Voight, we got stolen bases, six, is that, not Gardner, is it, no, uh, Wade, or Talkman. Mike Talkman. Walks is Aaron Hicks. And strikeouts either Torres or Sanchez. And we get Gary. There we go. Oakland Athletics. Chris Davis is not going to be on there. We got maybe Chapman. Also not there. Olsen will be three. That gets us up to 150. Uh, sorry. 150 out of 233. Olsen. Let's go Loriano. No, Loriano. What about Murphy? Wow. Canna. 47 hits and 8 stolen bases. Rossman. Pinder. Um, Semyon? Okay, I was going to say, that's like one of the last guys I think I didn't mention yet. Philadelphia Phillies. We're going to go Gregorius. Harper. Real Muto. Kingery, maybe. Uh, Roman Quinn. Roman Quinn's on there. And 48 strikeouts. Let's go around the horn. Hoskins. Um, Segura. What about Bohm? Not Gregorius in the outfield. Uh, oh, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. There we go. Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, this is where I might lose a few points. Brian Reynolds. We already have Bell. What about... 
Polanco. Oh, Jorge Polanco for the Twins. We forgot about him, but we get Gregory and Jorge. Perfect. So that finishes out the Minnesota Twins for us. So Bell, Polanco, Reynolds, uh, Moran is going to be a lot there. Key Brian Hayes is not on the list. Moran, Bell, Polanco, Reynolds, Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. We have one left, and it's going to be stolen bases again, which I'm just going to move on from because I don't think I have a shot with that. San Diego Padres, Tatis, Machado is most of them. What about Hosmer, Will Myers, Jerickson, Profar, um, Trent Grisham. And that'll finish out the Padres. Guys, I'm feeling really good. 177 at 233, and we are halfway done with the quiz. We're not going to need the remaining 10 minutes, I don't think. Um, but I like where we're going so far. San Francisco Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. Uh, Dubon. No. Solano. Donovan Solano and hits. Home runs. Um, Crawford. No. Longoria. Belts, Wilmer Flores, spelled that wrong, Wilmer Flores, okay, stolen bases, again with these stolen bases, I really should have done some more studying, um, alright, San Francisco Giants, eight stolen bases, uh, we already have Alex Dickerson, um, it's not Longoria, but just type that name in there for fun, all right, Seattle Mariners now. Kyle Lewis is going to be on here a lot. Yep, we got Crawford. What about Moore and Evan White? Perfect. Young kids coming up here with a, a struggling Seattle team. It's easy to name just the big guys when we got all the categories done. St. Louis Cardinals. Paul Goldschmidt should be on that list a few times, and he is. Day Young. Um, let's go Carpenter. Let's go Bader. O'Neal, Edmund, um, was it Carpenter Molina? No, he's not going to be there. Seven home runs and five stolen bases. Dylan Carlson? All right, Cardinals. So we got Molina, Goldschmidt, Colton Wong. All right, there we go. See, I just had to go by position. I was able to figure it out. So one left, which we will come back to for the Cardinals. Tampa Bay Rays, we have Kiermaier. We got Meadows. We got a Rosa Reina who shouldn't be on here. We got maybe Margot. Oh, took long enough, but we finally got someone. Choi, Wendell, Brosseau. Um, Let's see. We went Wendell and Brosseau. Adames, Lau. That's a lot right there. Without Lau, we would have been uh, under 200 still. So 30 left, by the way. Eight minutes, 30 players left. We still have three teams to even start to look at before we go ahead and see any of the missing guys I haven't filled in. Tampa Bay Rays walks. Is it Zunino? Um, I'm trying to think of their depth pieces that I haven't mentioned. We are going to come back to it. Texas Rangers, Joey Gallo. Elvis Andrews, now with the athletics, isn't even on here. Shinsu Chu, I forgot about him a lot, but no... Chu, Brunetto Door, okay. Um, let's go with we have uh Gallo Odor, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. There we go, and then the Shields, no, nope, that nope, not with the Rangers. Uh, um, eight stolen bases, Nick Solak. No, he's gonna be that little category that you can't even see. I didn't even realize that was there. Um, we get Nick Solak. Let's see, Willie Calhoun, maybe? Um, I think that's going to be it for my Texas knowledge. Toronto Blue Jays. We got Biggio, who's going to have runs and walks. Um, let's go Guerrero. Bichette. Gritchick. All right. Teoscar Hernandez, we have Guriel. Guriel's going to be hits, stolen bases, um, panic. Outfielders, we got Guriel, Hernandez, Grichik. Not Derek Fisher. It's not going to be Kirk or Jansen, I don't think. Um, who else do they have? It's not going to be Rowdy Telez. Mm, who else? Oh, 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 oh. Um, they picked him up at the 
trade deadline, I think. Um, Jonathan Villar? It's Jonathan Villar. There we go. 16 left, guys. Six minutes remaining. And the Washington Nationals. Let's go Soto. Let's go Turner, who leads a lot single-handedly. Um, just go by position. Suzuki. Gomes. Thames. Cabrera. Howie Ken. Drick. Um, Carter Keyboom. And then we got... Victor Robles. Victor Robles. I was going to say, after that, I don't think I know many other people starting for the Washington Nationals. So, 224 of 233. We have five minutes remaining to go ahead and look at some of the guys we've missed. Uh, Diamondbacks, Braves, Orioles, Red Sox. We're all good there. Chicago Cubs. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to think of guys who bounced around. Cameron Maybin, maybe. Cameron Maybin. Uh, I feel like RBIs. So, catcher, we got Contreras and Caratini. No. It's not Rizzo. It's not Horner. We already got him. Baez, Bryant. Um, let's go, oh, oh, David Bote, maybe, David Bote, so we got Bote, we have one more left, stolen bases, three, I believe Billy Hamilton, yep, Billy Hamilton with the Cubs, okay, so he, I know he played last year, and he's quick on his feet, so we gotta get him somewhere, Billy Hamilton, so the first row is completely done, we have six remaining, uh, we're missing one with the Rockies, that's gonna be strikeouts, we are missing... Let's see, Giants stolen bases, Pirates stolen bases, Cardinals home runs, Rays walks, um, stolen bases for Rangers, and that is it. And I do not think I know who's going to be remaining on here. So I think we're going to go ahead and just call it quits here, give up. With a score of 227 out of 233. Not bad. Honestly, let's go see what our percentage is. It's going to be high. 97%. Uh, the average score for people taking this is 64. So we did a lot better. We just missed by 3%. Six players. Let's see who we forgot here. Ryan McMahon for the Rockies. I don't think I would have gotten. So that one I'm okay with. Just hoping there's no like big names that I left out here. Gerard Dyson would have never guessed. Austin Slater I sh probably should know uh, with the Giants up there. Um, Brad Miller, okay, for home runs. I don't think I would have gotten him. Yoshi Sugo probably should know, especially because the Rays were in so many games I called live, especially because of the World Series and everything. And then Leody Tavares. So really the only one... I feel like I definitely should have gotten his Sutsugo just because the Tampa Bay Rays depth I knew from calling and because of, you know, all the, the pieces they had to be moving around every game. But, hey, honestly, I'm not mad. We did this in just over 16 minutes right there. So not bad whatsoever. 97% is what we received on this and 64% was the average score. All right, guys, that's going to end it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like down below. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I feel good, though. 97% good start to the Sparkle Quiz this year. Now, if you guys enjoyed the Sparkle Quiz content, let me know down below in the comment section because I have a bunch of other quizzes picked out, ready to go. I can be attempting them as we lead up into opening day and through the 2021 season. But, guys, that's going to end it for this one. If you also took the quiz, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys got as your final score score. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace.